This is the Military and Aerospace Electronics Report. I'm John Keller. The Army's AH-64D Apache attack helicopter is among the most formidable ground support aircraft in the U.S. arsenal. It has a 30-millimeter chain gun mounted to its nose and can carry Hellfire missiles and Hydra rockets under its stub-wing pylons. Now, for those of you who aren't really quite sure what a chain gun is, well, it's a really big machine gun. It fires an armor-piercing bullet about the size of a fat dinner candle at about 300 rounds per minute. It can penetrate hardened vehicles, turn structures to rubble, and shred so-called soft targets like trucks and passenger cars in seconds. Believe me, nobody wants to be on the receiving end of this weapon. But couple that chain gun with the Apache's Hellfire missiles and Hydra rockets, and you've got something really scary if it's looking for you. Yet, as deadly as the Apache is today, the Army is making it even more dangerous for the bad guys with a new sensor and sensor processing suite called the Ground Fire Acquisition System, or GFAS for short. Now, the GFAS uses networked infrared sensors and onboard digital signal processing to detect and pinpoint enemy ground fire from rifles, pistols, rocket-propelled grenades, shoulder-fired missiles, and many other things in the terrorist arsenal, and then, almost instantly, trains the Apache's weapons on the hostile shooter. Now, you want to take a shot at a loitering Apache to see if you can get lucky? Well, that wouldn't be so lucky, or smart either for that matter, because once that GFAST sensor finds your muzzle flash, those rockets, missiles, and that chain gun are all pointed right at you. This happens in about a second, maybe less. Okay, so maybe you could survive the resulting steel storm from the Apache somehow. If that happens, well, you're still in trouble because the GFAS transmit the sh transmits the shooter's location via tactical data link to friendly troops on the ground who will be closing in even as the dust settles. Now, the Army's working with Boeing, the Apache helicopter manufacturer, to integrate the GFAS on those AH-64Ds. Boeing doesn't make the heart of the GFAS system, though. It's based on a ground fire detection system called Weapon Watch from Radiance Technologies in Huntsville, Alabama. Now, Weapon Watch provides real-time detection, classification, and location of direct and indirect hostile weapon fire from small arms, RPGs, mortars, portable missiles, even from tanks and artillery. It can even process several different weapons fires events simultaneously and has options for enhanced imaging and laser ranging. It's all in the latest AH-64D Apache attack helicopter. What used to be dangerous is getting a lot more so. For the Military and Aerospace Electronics Report, I'm John Keller.